Oh God. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jay Sims, and I'm from, wait, I'm an 11th grader at Omaha Central. <laughs> That's my bad. This poem is titled, Villain. The quiet wind whispers remorseless and inexplicable commands into my ears. I stop to listen to it, the voice melodious and familiar as it strokes my eardrums. It's demonic and bloody, but caresses me as the vast unknown sea embraces the shallow shore. I knew when I broke her, the limp and sensitive lips that solemnly kissed my bare skin puckered with an apoplectic attack. Perfect wheat colored ligaments that intertwined with mine now stood knotted with disability. Beautiful medallion eyes that favored the burning star transfigured into gray holes of bleakness. Her sound propagation was deafening. Lungs burned, throat ached from the deep and unmistakable cries of my actions. Am I the villain? My same hands that designated the nebulous entities above her bedroom window used the heat from the stars to cast thick red burns on the world. And my callous fingertips were singed in the aftermath. The dark and tangled roots of our maple tree bled the black and cold sap of my enemies. Poachers appeared from the umber vacancy of my soul, digging their dead claws into my skull, pecking the silver-haired angel into submission. Her wings became dust of night, and her screams were captivated by the white beak of her nightmares. Demons are not created, but ignited, saving others before themselves, night after night, hour after hour, minute after minute, seconds, after a second, until they are lost, stuck between evil and morality, between reality and dreams. I am the villain. So when the pale horseman holds pressure to my throat and the red teardrops fall from my eyes, I am aware. No one will mourn me when I am gone. They will dance and sing atop my grave, putting weeds near my headstone and gum along my casket. Because a villain gone means the world would be at peace. But a villain who feels like me was never a villain to begin with. Thank you.